Hi, welcome to another video. So, Jules just received some really cool upgrades, and since I last covered it, there have been quite a few interesting improvements worth mentioning. And if you're new around here and wondering what Jules is, don't worry. I'll quickly catch you up before talking about what's new. So, Jules is basically an async coding assistant built by Google. It helps tackle software development tasks like handling bugs, creating feature requests, generating code snippets, and even directly exporting changes to your GitHub repositories. Think of it as Google's answer to OpenAI's Codex, but with tight GitHub integration and a much smoother workflow, honestly. Previously, at the time that I created the Jewel video, it was only given to users under a waitlist, but now it is generally available. Now, let's talk about what's new with Joule. First, performance upgrades. Google made significant under-the-hood improvements. And honestly, Joule's feels noticeably snappier. Tasks boot up quicker, and code generation feels smoother overall, making the whole experience more enjoyable and snappier. There were a lot of times where it got unresponsive and whatnot, but it is now noticeably smoother and better. But performance isn't the only upgrade here. Jules now has two simple yet essential buttons added to the code pane, the copy and download buttons. This means you no longer need to manually select and copy code. You can just quickly hit copy or even directly download the file which is great for workflow efficiency. And if you want to give the code, it generates a try before pushing, then you can do that. It still lacks a preview feature, which I would have really liked, but this is also good. It also now stays focused with task modals. So previously, starting new tasks with the context of the previous task was almost not possible or very tedious. But now, you get a new modal option, allowing you to keep your context and workflow intact and start new tasks with the context of previous ones. It also now has an adjustable code panel that allows you to customize your workspace by adjusting the width of the code panel to your preferred viewing experience, which is also great. Another thing is that Joul now supports 60 tasks per day which is really awesome compared to the five tasks per day limit that it was limited to before. Now, let me quickly show you what these upgrades look like. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Dart. Dart is the only truly AI native project management tool that you'll ever need. You can use it to manage your tasks for a project, create multiple boards, organize them, and do everything that you generally do. But you can also use AI with it to manage your tasks. For example, you can ask it to generate tasks for you by brainstorming or planning projects, as well as performing duplicate detection to keep you focused. You can even assign whole tasks to Dart and it can get them done for you. You can use their composer-like AI agent that has the context of all your tasks and you can chat in natural language to just ask it to do something. It can delete tasks, create tasks, edit tasks, and handle multiple things like that. Apart from this, you can integrate it into your AI clients or coders with its MCP server, which allows your MCP client or coder to reference tasks from your dartboards. You can even integrate it into Claude, ChatGPT, and much more. Most of the features in Dart are free, while you can also get the $8 subscription for more features. Make sure that you check Dart out through the link in the description. Now, back to the video. So, here we are in the Jules environment. Let's say... I'm working on adding some functionality to my Kingbench app. Once Jules generates some code, now I can directly use these copy and download buttons. The download button will download the code file, while copy will copy the code, and you can then plug it into your local code base and check before committing. Now, let's move on to another upgrade, which is new task modals. Previously, initiating multiple tasks simultaneously was a bit clunky. You'd start one, wait, then start another, often losing context in between. Now, 
Google added the option to just ask for a new task within the same window, and it will just start a new task in this with a new planning and everything, which is quite good to see, as you can just keep continuing this thread instead of making multiple threads and starting from scratch again and again. So, this is good. Here's a quick demo of that. So, I first asked it to add a light mode theme, and then I asked it to start a new task of adding a new filter. And as you can see, it here started a new task with a new plan with the old context, which is quite good. This way, I keep my workflow context intact, which is incredibly handy when multitasking. Speaking of workflow, Google has also introduced an adjustable code panel. It seems minor, but trust me, customizing your workspace just how you like it makes coding way more comfortable. So, here's how it works. You can just drag this boundary here, and the width of the code panel changes instantly. It's adjustable on the fly, meaning you can set the layout exactly to your liking. If you're reviewing a lot of code, make the panel bigger. If you're just casually browsing or multitasking, keep it smaller. Simple, but extremely useful. Lastly, probably one of the biggest updates, Google increased the daily task limit significantly. Previously, we only had five tasks per day, which was limiting during busy coding sessions. Now, that number has been increased to 60 tasks per day. This is great because it allows developers and teams to really integrate Jules into their workflow without constantly hitting task limits. Let's quickly test this out with a practical example. So, I have kicked off multiple small tasks now to demonstrate this increased limit. Here, I start a sorting task while I also start a light theme task and filter task as well. You can notice how quickly and easily I can keep spinning up tasks without worrying about hitting the limit anytime soon. Jules handles all of them smoothly in parallel. And of course, all these tasks are tracked neatly on the sidebar, where you can monitor the progress and view detailed code diffs as each task completes. Once Jewel completes tasks, reviewing the code changes is straightforward. You can expand each task and see exactly what changes were made. And, thanks to the new copy and download buttons, grabbing these code snippets is quicker than ever. One thing I'd still like to see in future updates is a preview mode for web apps directly in Jules. Currently, you have to push your changes to GitHub and clone them locally to see the real-time effect, which can be cumbersome. Hopefully, Google will add something like this soon. Overall, these updates make Joule significantly more powerful and easier to use. The increased daily task limit alone is a massive step forward, especially for professional developers and teams who want to rely heavily on Joules for their coding tasks. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.